Hi. All right, so today we are back here at Game On Charters, Captain Steve's camp house. And we spent the day fishing in South Louisiana, near Homa, south of Homa, actually, Bayou de Large. And we caught quite a few redfish. Actually, the ladies caught quite a few redfish. And we decided that we were gonna do a catch and cook. So our original goal was to catch a bunch of big bull redfish, like uh, Jeremy and I did back in February. Unfortunately, the bigger fish didn't cooperate, but you know what that means? That means that we caught a bunch of slot reds. And so we're gonna take advantage of that today. We've got a bunch of slabs of fillets right here. And today we are gonna make a blackened redfish with a Pontchartrain sauce. And so this was a suggestion after my last video where I did redfish with a lemon butter garlic sauce. And several people suggested that I make a Pontchartrain. And I've got a friend of mine, Cajun Blake on texasbowhunter.com that recommended and he actually showed me this recipe on a hunt that we did many, many years back. And it's been one of my favorite recipes since then. So we're gonna do our take on that. And so what we've got right here is we've got one, two, three, six redfish fillets, nice big thick slabs. And it doesn't matter how you cook them, you can do them blackened, you can do them whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cook them on the Traeger grill just because that's what we've got. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna brush them with a little bit of olive oil. Actually, this is garlic infused olive oil. And so we've got Steve's fancy brushed here and we're gonna uh, brush those on here, both sides. And then we're gonna put our blackened seasoning on it. Uh, we actually picked up some uh, Chef Prudhomme's blackened seasoning, but since Steve already has some Zatarans here already open, we're gonna use that today. It doesn't matter what you use. We're gonna go ahead and get that going and we're just gonna sprinkle liberally on these fillets. Dust them up really good. All right, and then we're gonna flip them over and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna season both sides. As Chef Emeril used to say, nobody likes one-sided seasoned flavored meat. So we're gonna flavor both sides. All right, so now we got the second side. We're gonna do the same thing. Just brush a little bit of this garlic infused olive oil on there. And all we're doing this for is so that seasoning will stick on there. And then we're gonna sprinkle liberally with more of this blackening seasoning. Blackened seasoning, this red fish is really hearty fish, really hearty meat. And so we wanna season it liberally. It'll take on a lot of good flavor that we have on it. And then all we're gonna do once we have this meat seasoned is we got it on this uh, foil and we're gonna put it over here in Steve's Traeger grill, and I think we've got it at 350 degrees. We're just gonna let it cook until that fish is nice and flaky and tender. Okay, so we've got our fish. We've got it kind of laid out here on the Traeger grill. Again, you can do this like we did last time on the griddle. You can do it on the half shell any number of ways that you can cook this fish. We're not gonna to get too critical about how we cook it. We're just gonna cook it until it's tender and flaky and good. And then we'll get started, like I say, on the parch train sauce, and that's gonna be the star of the show. All right, so we've got our redfish cooking on the Traeger, and now we're gonna start assembling our sauce. And this sauce is a uh, parch train sauce. It's a Cajun dish. And again, my buddy Cajun Blake showed it to me, and this is kind of my take on it. And what we're gonna start off with is about a half a stick of butter. You know what I need? Spatula. I need a spatula or something to stir that with. So while she's getting that, we're gonna let this butter melt in here. And then what we're gonna do is we've got some chopped celery and some chopped shallots and some chopped uh, green onion. And what else do we have? Bell pepper, chopped bell pepper, which is the uh, Cajun Trinity, if you will. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sweat or saute those onions and uh, celery, bell peppers, and this butter until it's nice and soft. We can go ahead and put the uh, celery in there as well. Should have done that this way. So we're just gonna sweat that down. We want that soft. We don't necessarily want it any color to it. We're actually gonna put some more butter into it just because we wanna. More butter's gotta be better. And then we're gonna season that with a little bit more of our blackening seasoning. 
and just sweat that down. Okay, so the onions and the celery and the bell pepper, and we actually put some green onions in here. They're sweating, I'm sweating, everybody's sweating, so it's all good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Vegetables don't come pre-seasoned, so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, salt those. And then once those are soft and translucent, so we're not sauteing them, we're not browning them, we're just looking to sweat them, so make them nice and translucent and soft. And once they start getting that little translucent color, um, then we're gonna go ahead and add a couple other ingredients. We have, in this case, some crawfish. You could also use shrimp. A, lot, a traditional uh, puncher train would use shrimp, but we're gonna use some uh, crawfish tails that we have here. It doesn't matter if you get that juice in there, it's gonna make it even better. So we're gonna stir that in. And these are already pre-cooked, so the only thing we're gonna do is kinda heat these through. And then we've got some lump crab meat. You can use any type of crab that you want. We've got a can of lump crab here not open so we're going to open that and pour that in as well and just break that up in there again we want this on kind of a medium medium high heat which i think is what we've got going on here okay so we've got our vegetables I wish you could smell it we've got our garlic we've got our actually we don't have our garlic so we're now we're going to add some garlic to it okay so we're going to add just a little bit of minced crushed garlic much as you want in there. We're gonna add a lot because we like garlic flavor. We're gonna stir that in. So we've got our onions, we've got our bell peppers, we've got our garlic, we've got our crawfish, we have our lump crab meat. So we're just gonna kind of stir that around till it's kind of heated through. All right, so we've got our vegetables softened, we've got our crab meat and our crawfish. It's all in here and it's heated through. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of sherry and Cajun Blake's recipe calls for a two count of sherry. Now, sherry is just any kind of cooking liquid. Uh, you could certainly use a vermouth. You could use a dry white wine, but we're just gonna put a little bit of sherry in here and just let that get a little bit of flavor in there. And then we're gonna reduce that down uh, just a little bit before we start adding the other, other ingredients. So I got Jace with me today. He uh, caught some of this fish, so he insisted that he wanted to oversee this operation. So we've got everything in here now. We've let that uh, sherry reduce down a little bit. And so now we're gonna add a little bit of Creole mustard to it. So if you'll add just a couple of squirts of that Creole mustard. There's one good squirt. Let's go another good squirt of that. Perfect, just like that. So we added a couple of squirts of that Creole mustard. It's gonna add a nice tang to it. And man, the layers of flavor are just shaking. Doesn't it smell good? What's it smell like? Greatness. Yeah, so wish y'all could smell this, but it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, we've got that heated up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some heavy cream to it. So Jason's got some heavy cream. We're gonna add about a cup and a half to two cups. We're gonna eyeball it. So Jace, you pour some of that heavy cream in there and I'll tell you when to Stop. I'll tell you when to whoa. Just keep it going. We want it nice and creamy. No more, no more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's about one cup. Keep it going, keep it going. There you go, perfect. All right, that's plenty. So now we've added that cream. That's gonna be at the end of it. Uh, we're gonna do a little taste test just to make sure we're gonna let it reduce down a little bit, thicken up. We're gonna do a taste test. We may add a little bit of salt and pepper. Our redfish probably have about another, I don't know, five or 10 minutes before they're done. And then we'll be right back and we'll assemble all this together. We're gonna to have potatoes, we're gonna have the redfish, we're gonna have this punch train sauce. I guarantee it's gonna be fantastic. So we'll be right back with that. As with any recipe, we wanna make sure that we taste it as we go. And as we're getting close, you can see that's kind of boiling and simmering. We're reducing that, thickening it up a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and taste this and kind of see what we might need to add to it. Add that to our, okay, great flavor. Can definitely taste the crawfish and the, the uh, crab. We wanna add a little bit more seasoning. We've added some salt to it already. We're gonna get Jace to add a little bit of this uh, Cajun seasoning. In this case, we got a little bit of Tony's. You could use Slap Your Mama's or in our case, maybe Cajun Blake's Raging Blaze seasoning. Go ahead and add some of that to it. 
and that's gonna spice it up just a little bit and make it really flavorful. So that'll all depend. Just make sure anytime you cook, taste it as you go. If it needs salt, add salt. If it needs flavor, add flavor. But this is gonna be really fantastic. All right, so we're about finished with this. We're gonna start the assembly. We'll be right back with you. Okay, now we're gonna pull the uh, fish from the Traeger. And we're gonna try to do it without a disaster. It's juicy. Probably. Teamwork makes the dream work all this hot. It wasn't that hot. All right, so here we go. We got our fish. Look at that, beautiful. It's not necessarily blackened, but it's blackened seasoning and we cooked it on the Traeger and it's gonna be really good. And so all we're gonna do now is we are gonna fix our plates. We've got our poncha train sauce. It's gonna go right on top of the fish. And we'll show you that here in just a little bit. Somebody wanna fix a plate? We got corn and potatoes that have already been cooked on the Traeger grill. We're gonna take about a half of one of these fillets. We're gonna put it on the plate. And then we're gonna to top that with our beautiful Poncha train sauce. Oh, that's so good and creamy. And then Jace, if you go take that over there and get you a piece of corn, an ear of corn, and some potatoes. Don't fall when you do it. All right, so again, just a real quick catch and cook right here at uh, Captain Steve's Game On Charters. Great place he's got here. He's put us on fish every time that we've been here. He's got a great camp, great, place to cook and hang out in the evenings and uh, just a great time hanging out with Captain Steve. So we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We'll catch you on the next one. See y'all later. Yet again, I've been suckered into filming something on this trip. <laughs> not a fishing be? trip. I'm filming someone it's cooking right? fish it's now instead of yeah. Eating fish or catching fish, it's just a lot of filming about fish. Me too. <laughs> Jace, did you catch a fish? Did you catch an alligator? Perfect. Did you catch a crab? We hooked one.